Here we go. Episode four, episode four of season eight. Well, we got two more. Two more. That's so unbelievable. That's it, yeah. Unbelievable. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. it was a, um, it's a little too stressful. I thought that these episodes would just be three victory laps. No, you didn't. Like this one? <laughs> the, oh, the next. So, I just it. thought they won, but yeah. Uh, John, Brooke, Brett, Ben. Uh, so we'll recap this for uh, however long it takes. Uh, and then we'll have a little members only section with some predictions mm-hmm. for what the last uh, two episodes holds. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Uh, and if you're not already a member, you're not already like member. to see that, you can go to tyt.com slash John to become a member. And if somebody could John? Um, write Torres. in and tell us what Tormund was saying to John, because I was talking, I'm sorry. Yep, there was <laughs> only one moment. So. Um, now I want I wasn't here last week, but I want to I want to mention last week because obviously that's critically important, and that was you know I I'm not right about many things. I thought during our previous conversation that that battle against the dead would be like that's not the thing. The dead are not interesting. We don't know what motivates them. We don't care about the dead. We've never seen them eat. You know, um, I mean, like we don't know what, right. they do for, what, what they do when they're not killing. Right, right, like right. The fact that uh, Craster has these babies that he gives, do they have a childhood? Right. Do the White Walkers grow right. up? Right. Is so, there daycare? Right, it's not, none of it is interesting. So that to me was the least interesting episode right. in the history of Game of Thrones. Last one? That's Last week. Oh, that's, that's a good But was ridiculous. it still exciting ridiculous. to watch? Did you enjoy yeah. the, the no. experience no. of what First of all, like so everybody on the else on the planet. You couldn't see. Couldn't say. Right. <laughs> this episode was the subtitles? best episode so far in this season. Right, yeah. For visibility, but I wouldn't say last week's was. I don't the like worst. bad. What? It, it was no. It, big things it. happened. First of all, I like Mad Men, likes The Sopranos. I don't. Better call Saul the Americans. I don't nitpick the great shows. Okay. <laughs> Some episodes aren't as good. But it was still great, right? right? It's still yeah. stuff you right. care about. That's all. So anyway, so I'm glad that we are back to the thing. That makes Game of Thrones Game of Thrones. Although I think we are all going to find some things that bugged us about uh, this one. about about this episode. Yes. First of all, let me say that I think uh, Miss Sunday is going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ridiculous. Yeah. Um, like we didn't, you know, we didn't totally see. You no, know, I think. You know, if they want you to know that she's dead, they make it really right, obvious. Right, right. I think yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, they're going to have to get her, I think, into surgery very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Kyber, and, Kyburn's around. <laughs> and stitch that together. The head and the body are still probably pretty close together. That's right. You oh. just get some tape. Right, just tape just to get us exactly. Why didn't Tyrion stabilize pick it up? You're, you're supposed to pick it up. Pick up one. Apply you know, constant only pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and it, but the great thing was we had a Game of Thrones moment there at the end where, I mean, she's got the things back and her hands up in the air, and she's always wanted to kill Tyrion because Tyrion killed her mom. I totally right. thought yeah. that right. she was right. and we thought, yeah. right. and we Just, thought yeah. it's because. Game of Thrones, yeah. and this is it. There's only die. two episodes left. They're gonna kill yeah. Tyrion. And I was, yet. I was fine. I was, I had given up and just accepted that. And it would have started that it hyperventilating, crying. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that it didn't happen was a little disappointing to me, yeah. Because I don't, I still don't understand. Like, my my approach to parlay is that of the 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 pirates in the first <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean movie, <laughs> where they're just like, what? Like, they call out how ridiculous having a conversation is amid all this war, especially given all the rules of of engagement that Cersei has just ignored. Right. She's killed a prisoner for no reason. Killed she people could, during a wedding. Right, she blew up, she, right, she, she, she wildfire, whatever, you blew fired the- Wildfire. The, the, what's it called? The, wildfire. Wildfire. The, what, what did she do to the, the crypt? Oh, the, 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 the sept, sept of Valor. Sept, right. Which you're not, you're not, they, that's frowned upon. Right, you so, should not do that. So in a sense, like Valor. what is the point? And, and, and the dragon was right there and he didn't actually seem that out of range. Like. Well, not. I mean, All of look. Those I don't. Know, do we want to start the nitpicking yet at the very end of the episode? But I, I don't know why Cersei didn't just start firing on all. That's of them. what That's it is. What I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, so like, yeah. kill Tyrion, kill them all. Like, you don't. She doesn't care. And when you cut off uh, uh, Miss Sunday's head, injuring her gravely. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, um, gravely. Still oh fine. Goodness. Like your mortal uh, wound. You're sending a message of no, we're going to go to war, and they have to know that John is. Some number of days away, and the army traveling mm-hmm. on foot. So they should, you know, Pearl Harbor it, strike, strike the yeah. your enemy as quickly as possible and decimate it. That seems like that would have been Cersei's well move Japanese. because that's why I bring it up. I don't think it's nitpicking. 
it's jumping on Brett's point about like rules of engagement. Cersei is not interested in them. So yeah. you'd think that right then she would be like, let's go all out. We have them, they're out in the open, yeah. we're, we're protected, let's fire. She, she likes the drama a little right. bit. I mean like obviously <laughs> most of this is just because it's a TV show and right. they couldn't just kill everybody right there. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. But I guess they didn't wanna, they could have had them just be twice or three times as far. But then Tyrion right. would have had to walk really far. Yeah. Right. He wasn't but yeah, it definitely looked like he should have been. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like he had a microphone down. He was here. still like stage act talking. <laughs> those yes. those ballista probably could have hit the dragon. Definitely could have them. I think archers could have hit them from there. Right. Possibly. It seemed, and it seemed also because they would could they hear Tyrion's conversation? I mean, that's you know. No, no, no. I, Rules of engagement. You have to put chalk marks at different <laughs> ranges from your keep to show how far you can shoot various ballistics. Yeah. So, I think she just likes the drama. This is just gonna be a fun game for her. Right, right, right. Uh, so, but anyway, we, we have to just accept that this is how it happened yeah, and yeah. move on. So, uh, now John, uh, during the shows we were watching, objected to one thing, and I, I thought very uh, foolishly, and, and uh, John makes a lot of ignorant points, though this was particularly ignorant. That's, the, the, that's the, fair, right? that's fair. <laughs> Especially that we don't know what Brooke it is. Brooke is yeah. looking at me like she's not aware of no, how, how John and I interact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty much. <laughs> okay, let's hear. Yeah, yeah. No, like you think that it's uh, that you objected to Jamie. Hold on, I will I will find this criticism to be legitimate if you get any of the names right, other than Jamie. Okay, so Jamie we'll left tall. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie leaves uh, uh, Sir Brienne. Yeah, right. right. Which sure. which house is uh, she's which uh, house? of Tarth. No, take it. Okay. <laughs> exactly. We'll take it because it's the right, right answer. Yeah. Oh, John, you uh, well, technically, it's yeah. of Tarth. Well, you said which I house? don't I know the actual answer. house's name. Okay. That's house, where I wouldn't from. go of Tarth. Okay, um, fine. So anyway, it's also known as so, Fire Island. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh my God, that's why we make fun of him because of that. Because of that <laughs> moment, right? You can have some, you're right. Okay, okay. <laughs> what what BS do you have for me? Yeah, that's right. God, he wanted you to be wrong so bad. It's also known as Fire Island. So confident. So, he but doesn't know. to me, of course, Jamie had to leave. Why would he stay? The fight; these people are going to fight his sister, who he has come to understand is the root of evil in their world, in all these world, and is going to destroy people. And he feels, as evidenced by that speech, as the I think eight years of arc have given us, he gets. No man, I, I get it. I'm charming and I've reformed, but at my core. I have participated in these horrible, horrible things. He's not going to join her, he's going to participate in stopping her and killing her, which is the only end of his story that has ever made an ounce of sense. Wait, well, is this we, the ignorant point you were talking about, the point John and I, we made together? No, no, I don't, you didn't. You, you, <laughs> thought, you might have agreed, I think you agreed. Yeah, you didn't think talking. that he should leave to go kill Cersei? I thought his speech made it sound like he was leaving to go join her. Yeah, 100%. No. Like, no. We're not, we're not, no, 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 no. John no. thinks that they're going to join I, Or I could describe what I like, think. It felt like he was going to protect <laughs> Am it's I right? clear. No. Yes, I 100% agree that that's what the arc should have. That's not the speech he gave. You don't end with, I'm a hateful person too. Like he like didn't, we belong together. he never it's said anything what? to her about, I'm going to go stop her, end her, help them. I, I, and she that, cried that is because he's choosing her over over Dren. No, you're reading it like the uh, simpleton and you're not. I'm reading the, no, okay, he no. might turn in the end. There's no turning. But there was nothing in the speech. He is yes, disgusted. What? What did he say specifically? He said, well, going back to his point of that is- He a has a name, it is Ben. Brienne, <laughs> sorry, Sir Ben of-, of House Brentwood. Of House Mankiewicz. Brentwood, um, I live in Brentwood. <laughs> you did, I think. Uh, <laughs> seems about right. Uh, you should, if you don't. Uh, so the, the thing is, the part of his arc that makes sense is for him to return to being in the thick of it. And the thing mm -hmm. that motivated him toward being in the thick of it was this bond between him and his sister. That hatefulness in her and the hatefulness in him led them to this crazy life that they had together that was toward the detriment mm -hmm. of society. He needs to go back because he is also that hateful person that he was from the get-go, something he hasn't forgiven himself for. But since he hasn't forgiven himself for it, he is gonna go back and do the be the same kind of person as her, but to a different end and kill her once and for all. Yeah, so I see, hope that that's what it is, but that's not what was in the I agree, I agree. That's not what her reaction you guys, you're was. You're adding a whole lot to what he said, and we're well, just reacting all, to what he said. No, but and for, how she reacted. She reacted as if she fell in love for the first time, or she'd already loved him, and then she's been with him, and she's been intimate with him, and she doesn't want him to go. 
and he is choosing Cersei, but what he is essentially choosing is, I am going to end my life mm. in the effort of ending Cersei's life. I agree that that's what he should do, and I agree that that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I would have I would have written the dialogue differently. Right, so you just quibble yeah, with I'm the- Yeah, I'm switching a little too, because that makes more sense. But it's fine, you're all on the same page. page. It it was, he didn't, same page. Yeah. I mean, I will concede that he didn't clearly spell it out, but he certainly didn't clearly say, you know what, we are bonded, me and Cersei, and I just, I'm along with her, I love her, <laughs> I, love her. I love her. No, but he the thing is, scared. every single aspect of his life, other than what you're saying, is like this one last second has said that. No, but no, so we have so now spent with him that what has been, as I've talked about since we started doing this show, the most impressive, uh, 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 character rehabilitation. I mean, we saw him, uh, if you'll forgive me, in, in episode one, nailing his sister, and then when a little boy discovered him, he pushed him out of a window. That is, in television terms, in storytelling terms, irredeemable, right? That guy was yeah. an irredeemable, we wanted him dead, he was, and then by like season three, we're like, Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> rascal, you know? And then slowly, and now he's a hero. Yeah. Right, and he's and he's fell in love with a, 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 a the most as as decent a person as the show has ever introduced us to mm -hmm. in Brienne. So I I think that that part of that arc cannot be I am going to let others go and deal with the evil that is my sister that is in me too. Okay, uh, and okay. he has to close that deal. And I, I think agree. the speech led that to, to certainly. Uh, yes, it's open for interpretation, but any other interpretation is just dumb. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So okay. Again, that was fair and delivered in a very diplomatic way. Okay. Yeah, all right. So good. Um, so, uh, uh, what else do we? Do have? we start in the beginning, or how does this work? We can start at the beginning. Yeah. So, uh, but we. Well, it seems like it'd be good to get the end because that's what everybody is sort of interested. But now mint, we'll go back. Mint. I'm ready. Um, and at the very end of this, I want to say just a little bit more about Miss Day. But anyway, we. Um, have you drawn your picture yet? Have you made your, have you planned? I'm gonna the, be drawing a lot of pictures. Are you gonna go to the funeral? Can be like, me and John by the anyway, ocean. No, let's go back to the beginning. Down by the ocean later as we have a <laughs> fake funeral for <laughs> me Sunday and send her off and shoot flaming arrows at her, whatever that's called. So I thought that that most many of my notes are about this sort of uh, simmering clear tension that has been uh, that for the whole of the season we've seen between Sansa and, and Daenerys. Danny and what that means, right? Because other people share it, and Arya is closer to being with Sansa. Although Arya is like my third dog, like Arya has sort of her own independent life that doesn't she's exist woman. outside the family, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, uh, you're right; she's definitely she's definitely the smartest one by far. Um, and so all these notes about these looks, these none of that mattered because by the end, it's like fully fleshed out and spelled out. Mm -hmm. Among everyone, and I think whoever one of us said that 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 uh, Varys may because you know Jenk would have loved Jenk would the Var finally Varys speaks mm -hmm. right and 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 the Varys Tyrion conversation is they're the two smartest people around right other than Bran who doesn't count because he cheated mm -hmm. um, it's true um, that those conversations were incredibly revealing telling they sort of get everything they get every machination and in the end uh, Varys is ready to. Kill Danny. Yeah. Yeah. So when you were saying during the show, you were like, you know, oh, Varys is, is, is a goner. You think Tyrion's going to turn against him? I thought that if Tyrion is going to be loyal to Daenerys, he can't let Varys continue to operate with a plan to assassinate have to her. to tell her. Well, and that's also, yeah. I, again, I, I hate jumping ahead, but when we were all feeling that tension that he could die, and I thought that there was probably a 40% chance that he wasn't Tyrion. coming back. Yeah, at oh, the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it was even more so because it creates an interest, more interesting dynamic with Varys. Now, the only person who knows the secret that he is thinking about killing Daenerys would have died. Now, I guess they'll continue to have a little fight about that. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think Tyrion has to show Tyrion's last act of loyalty, absolute loyalty to mm -hmm. Daenerys is going to have to be telling on Varys, unless unless they change that narrative and, and Varys is like changes his mind somehow, but that, that seems just unlikely. That last moment though, he's just as fed up with her as Varys is. He just doesn't want to do anything to protect Cersei. Last, which last moment? The Tyrion, like he's in tears, he turns around and he's just like, oh, both of you. It, I felt like he looked like, I hate so, both of you. I thought he, it was- he, All of these people are gonna die because both of you are trash. That's kind of the Tyrion, face I got. Tyrion at this point reminds me of all my friends who like dated a bunch of people but really wanted to get married and then they just ended up, they're like, I know this one isn't right, but I've already broken up with so many people, I'm just gonna make this one work. 
That's what it sounds like. Still waiting on that guy. But that's it. I'll and, take and that. Varys, That'd be great. Yes, but Varys, Varys is that person being like, no, when it's right, it's right, and and if and she, this is you know tyrant right now. I think Tyrion's reaction wasn't so much, although t- the seed is obviously planted. I mean, when Varys, Varys's points, though, I think Tyrion will 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 expose Varys as mm. to to Daenerys if he feels like her she is in danger from him. I think they've clearly planted a seed that, that some of what Varys says. Lands and that idea that we've talked about here that like the thing that makes John most attractive uh, as the but. as the ruler is obviously first and foremost mm-hmm. right. he looks great in the black mm-hmm. jeans amazing right? yeah um, uh, but uh, that he doesn't want it mm-hmm. right yeah. and he's not interested in leading and therefore isn't isn't about ego doesn't feel some as they said here just he doesn't feel this divine calling he doesn't feel it's his birthright I didn't feel anything about it. which is why for the first time ever he would be a good king right that's right so that that but all, he but. At the same time, he's a terrible king because he doesn't. He's dumb as a post. He's dumb as a post. Yeah. Wait, the, because dumb? so, so that's he's the thing is, is you're saying he's, he's he dumb. would make a great king because he's good. Mm-hmm. However, as we had this giant discussion between Tywin and Tommen yes. in the Sept when someone had died, when when Joffrey had died, yes. Tywin asked, "What makes a good king? Oh, a good is it a good king? No, is it a, is it a it's a wise king, and John could not be less wise because the wise thing to do would be to shut the. Fuck up. He just put together the team that beat the dead. He's not unwise. He, but so the dumb thing he did <laughs> okay. is like to tell this secret. Yeah. Yeah. This secret is out, and what's going to happen? He trusted Sansa. He gets he gets that call. he gets played a lot. Now All the time. he did. Now it's complicated because he did put that team together, and you know I think he's dumb as a post, but he's not unwise. Well, like, I like, guess I get it because if you don't want it, then why tell everybody? Right. Part of being a good king I is to think you win the bit. political battle, so okay. that everyone that you want to be happy in the long run can be happy in the long run, and you haven't let so many cats out of bags because it's the right thing to do that one of those cats can come back and give you rabies. Yeah. Yes, and look, Ned had a similar sort of choice to make, to hold true to the sort of core value of honor or lie, and he lied. And I think the results sort of speak for themselves. John's still alive, right? Um, and now John is going the opposite direction. He could keep the secret, and he's choosing to not keep the secret. He and, and blabs to everybody, including and, and he Sansa. has to know. Like, and, what, and Sansa, he tells Sansa he can't tell anyone. And then his thing is gonna be like, I told her she couldn't tell. And then she went and told people. Mm-hmm. Of course she told people. I right. don't see any reason why he wanted to tell them other than I think he wants it a little bit. Well, maybe. I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think don't. whatsoever. I think okay. he's he's like just, I've useless. lived he's just so damn he's, honorable. He's so he's so honorable as to be a little bit simple. And I think yeah. that's what we, you know, we're playing with dumb as a post, but he is he is a simplistic thinker and could, I suppose, thrive if surrounded by Varys and Tyrion values. all the time. Yeah, he would do right. fine because yeah, would, in the right. battle, the one th- he he's not wise in battle. He is dumb in battle. He, right, he got he, bailed he, out, right? He got bailed out. He ran, even though Sansa's like, "Listen, Ramsay's gonna bait you somehow. I don't know how, but it's gonna be something. He's gonna want you to do something. It's gonna be very obvious. Don't do it." And he did it. The wise thing that John was able to do was say, "We need more people to fight the dead." <laughs> There's yeah. so many of them. We need more. All of them together. He but did. No, he, he can. And his his he he can. Inspirational. He he is even yeah you know, again best that C plus speech at the beginning. Yeah, it was a B. <laughs> B minus. It was a B. Do we have a deal on deal on B minus? B minus. Right, I'll just do it. B minus fine. Uh, uh, so he's like, <laughs> I swear it's a B minus. <laughs> So yeah. Anyway, so but but it, but most interesting now to me is this uh, is the Varys Tyrion intrigue, and obviously, uh, they're, you know, they're leading us to this sort of fight between Danny and John, whether yeah. we whether they want it or not. Uh, you know, I was supposed to save predictions, and, and I will. Which I would find that I would find that so unsatisfying. Um, also, just the idea that if uh, Danny's whole this whole like lead up to this thing with Cersei has been, I am the rightful. Like queen, so everyone should bend the knee. I am the rightful queen. You have to go because I am the rightful queen. But now, when she finds out she's not the rightful queen, it becomes fair that it's just I want it. Right. Yeah. Well, Cersei wants it too. So then, if that if those are the rules, then go home. Correct. Because right. she I wanted it first. But like, yeah. if 
if her, you know, honor was that, you know, I am the rightful queen, then she should have advocated. Like, she, right? she, like I, yeah, I, I I'm think with she's you on that. Brooke is even more right because the I, idea that Varys would still find that Varys and Tyrion would waste minutes talking about who has the better claim when virtually every one of the major houses in Westeros has been wiped out entirely. Who cares at this point if she's better related to the king that everyone agreed needed to be killed? I just think it's weird that, were you done, sorry? I mean, for the most part, I would say that- I was that, done listening, is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then I wanna bring up another point that sort of plays into this. Obviously, a lot of the tension, the fact that it got out to Tyrion has to do with Sansa's, uh, not her suspicion with Daenerys. Do we feel that that is deserved? That there has been enough cause over the first three and a half episodes for Sansa to still so distrust Daenerys, that she would meddle in that and possibly ruin the whole thing. I think there's some PTSD in terms of I am tired of people showing up and taking things from me. Mm -hmm. And she just has a healthy skepticism. And it also plays into this like concept of what the North like right, is like. They just don't like anyone who's not right, they're, like, and they're like Quebec. Just you know? what Varys was <laughs> saying, like her brother is so obviously just gonna do whatever she asks. And they want their brother to be as smart as I guess the, the little bit of smartness in him. It's weird yeah. for her. She has this brother who is useless now and who is just basically speaking through this woman, and that's not the brother she wanted to come back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I just but 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 Danny is not. I mean, Danny has not handled that well either. And obviously, we've all got that vibe from Danny when she talks about destiny and when she, you know, going back to when she sort of somewhat pointlessly, you know, burned uh, uh, Sam's. A brother and dad, like mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. captured. You don't need to burn them. Like she got she's off on that. She's not a great queen either. She's beautiful and she has dragons. That's yeah, but she, that's but she, good. she did like, free. But she <laughs> free. She, got, she has. By the way, she has dragon. That's right now. now yeah, um, and, uh, because she's not nice. I don't know. It's not. She's kind of um, wah wah. I, but, she, I yeah. thought she was so different, and then it turns out, and, and a lot of things add up now. But I, but I agree that it's not quite right that Sansa completely doesn't trust her. She has done some things that no other people have done. She's freed people who were enslaved. She clearly, you know, she wants a $15 minimum wage and $15 an hour minimum wage, and she wants Medicare for all. Like, I'm not messing around. Like, those, you know, she's into that stuff, right? So she would be a, in, in their world, she's, an incredibly progressive leader, mm -hmm. even if she likes to like watch people burn a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's in her blood. But like um, Sansa has just had a history of just the worst decisions ever. So the, now the, the worst thing she's doing is not trusting the queen. I'm okay. Sansa has a present. She has a history of bad decisions, mm -hmm. but she has a present of pretty good decisions. I don't think does Sansa have a history of bad decisions as a grown up. Well, she has a history well, of well, not as a grown up. I mean, maybe she's just a, a grown up yesterday. Right, but I mean these things were sort of forced upon her. I mean Sansa in a sense is the you know, this is the fight that Jenk and the rest of us have, Jenk thinks she's really dumb. And I think we never had any evidence that she was dumb. She was a flighty, silly kid who dreamed of being a princess in a family where other people took stuff way more seriously. Uh, and then she was essentially made to be a sex slave. I to she was two, so but she had two hideous monsters sort of use her, right? And, uh, and then so she got older and no one has that history and sort of found a legit Voice. I mean, she kind of admitted herself today that she was dumb. So you're kind of, what she's she, not even making that argument. I think, like, no, I, just said, like, if all of this stuff wouldn't have happened, I would still be. Right, but no, but she said, right, but it did happen. So she's, yeah. it did happen. So she, I think she has real substance now. I think Danny yeah, has always should yeah. have said to Sansa, hey, yeah, I got it. You make me the ruler. And I don't care if you guys bow to me, just acknowledge that it's true. And because of this now particular relationship that I'm gonna have with the North, that I have with your brother, as she thought then, right? Like, fine, don't bow. You guys will have a tremendous amount of independence. And we'll, I'll still be the queen. And you guys run the North, don't care, great. Be my ally, run the North. I'm not coming here, I'm not gonna, no rules. You can tax yourselves, you figure it out, right? Right. She, that, that opportunity was there, it was an obvious choice. That's really what the North wants, right? Some degree of sense that they're not forced to bow to somebody so far away yet again. I, and I think she, as again, more evidence that Danny doesn't quite have the, the, the it, it, she's at her core, she's like, I want the seven kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but and there's something else that they did pretty explicitly was uh, the teen movie aspect of the victory brunch scene or the victory dinner. 
where mm -hmm. everyone's having a great time. Mm -hmm. It's like mean girls. It's like mm -hmm. she, everyone is like, there's a click, there's a click, there's a click, I'm here with my lunch. And I'm desperately looking for someone to, to eat with me. I like And you. Varys was Damien. Like, that's it. Yeah, right. but. Yeah, come over, we'll go in the other room. The person alone was Regina George. That's she right. has been nasty. And she, she's, I get it. They, and she's, I get it. She but, doesn't have a click with a bunch of people that she's saying bend the knee. But I don't. Or I'll and she's burn the, you and, to and death. She's, saying, she's the, like she's, she's, the, she's the prettiest girl in school. She should be like. So, so I mean, she bro. created her own. <laughs> She created her own loneliness. Um, in that scene, though, even though I know there's Jesus. dragons and people, and there's lots of weird things that aren't normal, I it was still so weird for me. For everyone, it's so normal that he came back from the dead. Yeah, like yeah. I know crazy things have happened, <laughs> but it was just like that's so normal. He was actually dead. Yeah, but they all and already not. in the same episode. <laughs> the, like, they, they're two dragons, right. and then they just were like, finally, that guy will stop coming back from the dead. <laughs> with uh, you know. Dondarian, mm -hmm. who's they're finally putting to rest, and I'm sure as they were lighting it, they're like, hey, "This guy's coming back." <laughs> <laughs> Should I? Should I? He's Lord sort of, of Light. So it plays into one of my theories that the magical things are being stripped away one after the other. Miss Sunday's gone. We lose all the undead. Was she magical? This guy with his theories yeah. every time. She had it. the. She's Who? magic, like in a million different ways, but she was using magic to make herself look younger. Oh, sorry, not oh. Missing it. Sorry, Melisandre, Melisandre. you're right. Oh, okay. I said the wrong name. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. But uh, a dragon so, goes away. We we kill some of the people who are able to come back. You did something wrong. What do we get for you having done something? Uh, you apparently have some sort of smug satisfaction. I could read that pretty easily. Let's just that's point true. out that um, I knew who someone was. That's true, you did. I haven't uh, criticized you for that. I'm talking to him for it. So, a couple, I just want to get back to Sansa in that moment where she tells Tyrion. Now, they could have played that a couple ways. They could have played that as Sansa kind of letting it loose to kind of get the word out. But no, she was so shaken in that moment that she does, she's like, I, ah. Uh, I have to say this, it's creepy, I, I know that you're already suspecting me, but she goes through with it and shares with Tyrion this fact about her brother. So that I think plays into the, she's not like the smartest, but like, dis, but Danny is way, way smarter than them and seeing that a thousand miles away and telling how it'll play to out. shut up. But I, 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 I think it is, I mean, I, it's clearly smart of Sansa to have told but Tyrion. The, but I'm talking about how it was now, specifically gonna, played. Yeah. It wasn't believe, that she was calculating in like, she wasn't doing, or was we would have known. Do you we believe that she was, was being honest? We would have yeah. known. She totally was calculating. She told him because she thinks John should be the better, is the better yeah, king. Yeah, she wants him. She knows she's, she's I'm gonna tell him. the smartest guy. It's not guy. calculating though. It is not, that was not calculating. Because calculating is, she goes and like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I have to tell you the secret promise you don't tell anyone. But for her, no, she, yeah, that would've been bad no, though. You, would, you wouldn't even write that. That's not like, she waited, she was clearly, he's like, what's wrong? She's staring out at nothingness, right? She's debating this. She told him this. for a reason. walking away and then like, all, we, all we get is, is her beginning the story with what if there's someone better? And, and then she tells the story. I think in this case, she knows if I tell Tyrion the mm -hmm. truth, this will likely work. The point in of that is, she wants that information to spread because she right. wants John to be king. But everything, but, but she does want John to be king. Yeah. And the difference between the way I guess I'm using calculating and how you guys are using calculating, like the we're using it correctly. You right. Made up. right. No. no. Well, usually someone who's calculating <laughs> when I when I describe people that I only use it with people I. Hate, right. they do this after, I you know? Right. And she doesn't do that. She, everything she's saying, there is no subtext to. She is saying it because that's what she wants to say. She's not holding anything back. She's telling Tyrion there's another alternative. So she was being calculated, just not manipulative. There you yeah, go. I right. think she was being both. I, I think mean, she was feigning those emotions. Right. But can we agree that now, now that we that understand what? how I was saying yeah. calculating? You were saying sure. like she wasn't being manipulative, like she wasn't like being no. like yeah. sneaky, Because sneaky. honestly, there's right. no, she, that She's would not been, be, right. emotionally, right. that's not how she would respond to that news. Like after all that she's been through, and the fact that that's sort of tangential to the concerns that they have anyway, her being so overwhelmed by it doesn't make sense for the nature of the information. I, I, I think I it was an act. I didn't get that moment. I don't, I think, don't think it was an act in your role. She couldn't no even look at him. She was looking was so serious. Her eyes you're were wrong. like, go back because and watch then she's it. Think, I was watching it. Then she's thinking that moment is, do I tell him? She's that whole debate is, am I going to tell him? And I'm going to tell him right here. I just swore to John. Even though it was happy, you know, Arya was like, I'm in, I won't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. And she was like, fine. <laughs> right? You know, but she just swore John to secrecy. He rides off. And then the first guy Literally who shows the up. Literally the first person. Right. She's like, I'm going to tell. But that's what she was thinking. Do I 
do I tell Tyrion this piece of information? Who's the next person to find out? I love this. This is my favorite game now. <laughs> right, who's I mean, pretty them. much everyone who needs to know knows. Somebody and then. I think the way it will play out is the word will get out the way the word got out about the bastard incest children did in this show. It was rumor, rumor, Oh my God, it's a big, everybody knows. And I think that was alluded to pretty explicitly when it said it'll be, it's a handful here, it'll be hundreds. Well, what they could have been done in that respect is they could have had Miss Sunday know. And then there would be uncertainty now whether Cersei had found out that they could have gotten the information through Torch. So let's talk about a couple other possibilities because there are obviously other, and I'm not saying we make the hard predictions now, but so Tyrion is also clearly a, 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 what do you call it? Help a brother out. A short person. A Lannister. A Lannister and advisor a, to the Queen. And and yeah. and maybe a Targaryen, right? Oh yeah. Right. So yeah. because the Wait. So Tyrion, so first of all, we know because Tyrion looks <laughs> they're the Lannister kids look a very particular way. They look like Cersei, they look like Jamie, they look like Tom, and they look like Joffrey. I thought right? he kind of looks like them. He's just small. No, he has dark hair and and he had he's he has like blonde hair. No, right? his blonde hair has changed right? a lot throughout the season. He does not look like his brothers and sisters, and we know that the he had a, the a Dragonian moment, right? Yes, right where the dragons were like, uh, eh, "You're all right, gotcha. yeah. right, right." Um, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't burn him. They didn't. They were. They seemed to be like, "We like you. You're all right." Family, um, and there's this, and the mother died in childbirth, and and Tywin always thought, you know, at least. Well, Tywin either disowned him, but maybe because Tywin thought on some level something weird happened here. This is not. I never not heard that until now. There, but I, there is a you. theory that the Mad King impregnated the mom, and in the books there are reasons to believe that. Okay. There's no time in the show for them to go into that, so I don't no, think no, that they will. No, it's only it's only right. We'd but have, if they were going to, we, they would have already. Right, we're running out of time for that, but it is except that the very clearly they made the moment where the dragons didn't. Yeah, that's true. That's a significant moment when the dragons yeah. don't. Um, I'm just saying, as we are because and, and, as we reach of, a point where where you know John uh, could die, Danny could die, or there is a literal because uh, as I said, if I if John and Danny are fighting this out. That it's incredibly dissatisfying to me yeah. and sad, right? So uh, maybe I don't know, I'm tired of her. I don't agree with uh, that. May, I, I, Danny, mm -hmm. yeah, but I, maybe we come to the point where there is some sort of compromise between them. Mm. And one of there's a couple of compromise candidates. One of them is Tyrion, right? Yeah. Always possible. But the compromise would have to come with everyone else. He's fine with doing whatever she says, whatever she asks. The problem is people it, are it, over her until until she until she. Uh, uh, lays waste to King's Landing, and John may say, "No, man, that's you should have listened to Tyrion. You should have listened to Varys, or she's killed." But how? Uh, but right. but then, and John still doesn't want it, or or he. I'm just saying we have, and then we got a third, and, and then it wasn't just for a nice scene that I think that that we had. We just threw whatever his name is in here. What's his first name? Which person? The kid, the new head, the new head of the house. Gendry. Oh, Gendry. Oh, oh. Like, and we throw Gendry in there too. Right, but that was just like a little fun moment where she was like, "I ha ha, got it. See, more people like me." And then it was like, "Nah, girl, look around. No, I got yeah. you. You got one. Possibly he has ninety two. Right, like, but like, like, but like all good writing, it gave us that moment, and it gave us yeah. uh, now an announced to the world that no, this is yeah. Bob Baratheon's kid. Yeah, uh, and now in a world where there might have to be a compromise because they don't want to go at each other." <laughs> Sorry, I was Bob, 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 Bob Baratheon. Baratheon. <laughs> uh, so now he's now he's now he I would say is also uh, yeah in the mix. I, I have a little bit more on that that I think I'll probably save for the predictions or whatever. But um, what what other big scenes did you want to? I mean, so many of them went away because they all led up to the um, uh, to that Do you moment. Think I don't buy that, the, I don't that buy moment the, is out. I don't buy the Jamie Brienne romance. No, I don't buy it. Either. Not even a little bit. No. Like it's weird. He didn't seem in love fine. as much as he seems like he was helping her become like no, a but, but I don't buy any of the I don't buy the chemistry. Like with Danny and John there's chemistry and with previous like love scenes there's been chemistry. I just don't see the chemistry 
With Gendry and Arya or Jamie yeah. and Brienne. <laughs> with Danny and John, there's chemistry, there's also blood. There's <laughs> genealogy. Yeah. And honestly, it's kind of, and I, and I watched that chemistry kind of disappear when he pulls back in that moment. Because He's, as everybody and pointed out, that is not normal to his people. Right, like, but like you won, there was a part of me that was like, all right, but they intermarried for years, the-, the um, Her the, people. Yeah, her people, the Targaryens. Not his, like but how he, he grew up. Yes, but he is Targaryen. And by blood, it would be so nice, wouldn't it be but nice? It's like a yeah, cultural thing could, more, and he was raised in a different culture. I just, uh, I look forward I to it. I get it, but there was, that's what I'm saying, is it, it factors into the, oh my God, wouldn't that be nice? It'd be such a nice bow, I could have three episodes, and everybody has different baby, dinners, and we renovate prince. and put different things up, and that's the whole rest <laughs> of the, the series. But as soon as it, well, pretty much immediately, probably 25 minutes into this episode, they start revealing it is not gonna be so simple. I really wanted it to be simple, and I think that's something that it really does. And it gets back to season two, three Game of Thrones for me. Like what? I, I like parties? It's, no, it's just like, oh, it, there, it wasn't a big battle scene, it wasn't a big Well, spectacle. you're gonna have one more of those, because apparently the next season, well, we'll talk about that. Yeah, but, well, hold on, on, the, yeah. on the, the Jamie and Bran, I agree that if they wanted, well, I mean, it would have been nice, I guess, for there to be more chemistry, I suppose. I, I still like it. I think that it's good for both of their arcs. I like what they're getting different things out of it, I think. I like that for both of them, it was a significant thing where she had never been with anyone. He had never been with anyone other than his sister. I like that. I think he he's, but he is come on. in love with his sister. He doesn't want to be anymore, but he is still too fresh to be I like, think, yeah, Brienne. I think they're friends and she was a virgin, he was right. drunk and then he was just like, all right, but I gotta go. But he bro. didn't give a look of horror like when she's no. sleeping. His look, I think he loves her in a in a way. He respects not, her. And yeah, and, and, he, and he would like to, but, her. but he's got, I mean, there's too much conflict. Jamie's gotta go do what Jamie has to do. He's gotta go back to King's Landing. What's a beard it. when instead of being gay, you just wanna sleep with your sister? <laughs> What's the beard word? What's the it's word for that? Goatee, that a goatee. I don't know. It's a goatee. <laughs> you know, it's a soul patch. thin mustache. It's a like, soulless patch. It's a soulless I look patch. forward Thank to you. Jamie getting the news about uh, John and Danny, and he's going to be like, "She's his aunt." This is this is a big deal. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gonna he's gonna be yeah. the incest Call me when it's it's yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I did think one important scene, I guess, that did not go the way I expected it to was when Bron. Like as soon as they were alone drinking, I was like, oh, Bron's coming in. But yeah. I, I I mean, I got you that maybe the first of all, they weren't at a bar in town. They were in the they State. were in, They're in town. Uh, how did he get in? And it's not it's not enough that oh, that's a uh, uh, brawny move. You know, I think it is. Uh, no, He's man. a stealthy guy. I, listen, I'm super cynical about weird stuff like that, and I've called it out every episode this season. Too I'm just much. like, eh, what the hell? Too much <laughs> for your delicate sensibilities. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that scene, and I didn't like how the scene came about. And I don't think that like I like Braun better thinking of Braun as when Jamie says he's not gonna kill us, and then he fires the thing, and I I still think. No, he, he's not gonna, literally, yeah. those are his, the only two friends he's made in his life. And they, it's a relationship where they give each other the business, yeah, but that's right? Just, but we, those are his two friends, he likes those guys. We've so, had that same though, thought, right. that same reaction, same thought five different times with him. His friend is gold, his friend is money. We, and we've yeah, been but reminded he's, but that he's, over and over again. It like, is, but he's never betrayed uh, the good people in his life. And in fact, yeah, it's always on this sort of promise of, yeah, later I'll pay you off. And he's like, again, with this later I get paid off. Yeah, and then he like always does the right thing. Like he's become such an appealing character to have him seem sort of uh, uh, aggressive and amoral in addition to suddenly showing up. That whole scene didn't quite sit with so, me. So yeah, so do you feel like you're being manipulated or is it somewhat consistent? It's just that I have to go back and look at the timeline. I'm not really certain of it because I feel like Braun goes back and forth between like, listen, I'll be your champion, you're my meal ticket. And then like, no, I got another meal ticket. Mm -hmm. I can't be your champion now. I guess. And maybe, I've maybe. got gold, oh God, between I just gold wish, and saving up. this idiot, I'm gonna go push him out of the dragon's well. I, we have two episodes left for Braun to, I suspect again, cause he's such an appealing guy. You know, when somebody will say to him at some point, were you really gonna, he'll show up in the battle in right. King's Landing. Mm -hmm. Cause he's like, yeah, cause, and he'll say, 
and they like they'll say, "I knew you'd come and help us," and he'd be like, "I'm just protecting my investment." Mm-hmm. But, right. But he will have come to help them. Because but yeah, because it. still, they still, I think, made it sufficiently ambiguous where he could go either way based on how it's shaking out. That I wouldn't be so upset mm-hmm. if that came down on Cersei's side or Daenerys' side, Jon's, whatever. I would be upset if he, look, first of all, he has to pop up again. If not, what's the point of that? Right, There's no correct. point to him just saying, I'll see you after the war, you know, right, yeah. um, at I'm, the reunion in five years, that doesn't make any sense. But a man disappeared so, with a gun and I it's agree. gonna happen later. That and they gave him an important gun for a reason. If he pops back up, and kills one of the two, I think that would be incredibly unsatisfying and would be ruining much yeah. of his arc for yeah. the course of eight years. So I see him killing uh, the, the what's the doctor's name? Kyburn. Kyburn. Kyburn yeah. gave it to him. Right. Like, um, yeah, yeah, I just, it would not be like, satisfying, especially like, after. Right, that'd be, that, I would take that, that, that would be in How? that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should work in, what, what's that position? Foley. Foley. <laughs> um, when he, when they're in the, the battle last season and the dragons are burning everything and he sees his gold, and he doesn't go for it, and he jumps in front of a dragon's breath oh, to save I Jamie. That. Yeah, like right. I don't. There's no. no there's not. no going back to just carrying that's it with right. the money. And that's why, even if in the end he does end up saving one of them, I still did like that scene. I liked the tension. I liked that we're near the end. And so I honestly was thinking he might kill Jamie right now. How, but it would be so unsatisfying. Yeah, I, I How did y'all I, know he was coming in? I think it was the two of you, right? That it was like, just the perfect opportunity for him to be there. That was nice, yeah. I forgot that he was I supposed to go out. I've been waiting forgot, for it yeah. for a right, couple he's supposed episodes. to go there. It's, just, it's weird that like a Lannister guard was able to walk in and all this and they were <laughs> made it, nobody was like, you know, I guess they're down staff. You know, right. most people are dead. He most, wasn't most able people. to, like, as soon as he set foot in Dorne, he was set upon by dudes on horses. He can make it all the way to the north where they're like, so, you're not from so, here. Okay, so now separate from, let's go back a week then, it's because it relates to this, separate from the obvious thrill and joy and satisfaction of Arya killing the Night King, the actual manner of her showing up, I was like, mm. when, when she- Just jumping out like a, like a Yeah, but you, you know, didn't see, you, there was a little bit of hair moving on the White Walkers. Mm. So the, there was a shot of just, and that was her running by. Running by, I didn't see it. I, I did try and look at it again, but you know my contrast didn't move that much. On that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I thought when the White Walker turned his head that it was going to be her. That's what my girlfriend. Thought. She left that episode thinking that that was her. Right, right, right. I could see how people thought that that she she faced a Walker. I don't mm. know how you know um, uh, because I thought she would use a face. To sort of get close, yeah, me too. Um, and I read somebody on Twitter; I can't remember who it was, but it was just you know how the, the Night King had been waiting like fourteen thousand years or something, four thousand or fourteen thousand, <laughs> right? 2000 kill, to go over, kill, kill Bran, and like that's the moment he decides. You guards, <laughs> you whites, stay here. I guess they're <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got really this. Blown. He's very arrogant. I got, I got, it, I got, I got, I got this. Is she gonna use that again? Do you think? I think so. I think it's a good chance she uses it somewhere in in in. Uh, and in she's King's coming Land. with John. She's no, she Arya is going with uh, Clegane, with Clegane, and they both oh, want to kill right. Clegane's right. brother Larry Clegane. Yeah, yeah, right. possibly mountain. Cersei, but yeah, right. mostly. Well, the and they want to kill. Greg. I think Arya most wants Greg to kill. Well, I think, I think, I, I think, uh, I, I think uh, uh, the the Hound kills Larry. Uh-huh. And, and, is that and Greg? Arya. No, it's oh I'm the Greg. mountain. It's Greggy. I'm, I'm Greggy Cleggy. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> but I now, unfortunately, like I, when we started doing this, I took so much joy in not knowing names, mm-hmm. and now, sadly, it's hard to talk to them though without so no. like just out in the newsroom. They yeah. often I, I remember when I was reminded of who was who. I was doing like a, I drew a map on a FedEx envelope for my wife, and I was like, so there. And I remember we had names, and it was the Hound is great. But Marjorie used to dress like in a wrap like mm-hmm. this, so I called her Taquito Queen. Who was Marjorie? Exactly, Taquito Queen. She had the, a, the, the, oh the grandma. No, 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 no. The, the granddaughter, Olena. The Olena's granddaughter. Right, the only one in the sept who was like, we got to get out of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that laughs> we, yeah this is. Uh, they they burnt the taquitos, um, and that's the land that Bron wants. Yes. Um, yes. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, uh, there was that lovely Wealthy line. Uh, maybe where? Cersei will win. Uh, and maybe mm-hmm. Cersei will win and kill us all. That would solve all our problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah, good. A great line. So why does oh, there's not a good line. this was such a good Varys, line. Varys oh, brings it up to Tyrion, thinking, and I think that's it was such a great scene because he's thinking Tyrion's a 
decent guy. He already knows my uh, allegiances, and he's smart enough if I give him all the information to really figure it out and follow through. But the timing Mm. of it, does he just believe that if they do kill Danny, that John is perfectly capable of writing the remaining, or the, the, I guess there were two dragons at the time, to, of riding the other dragon, so we'd just be fine. What about the rest mm. of the army? Wouldn't they rather wait until she until she conquests before? Probably, yeah. You know, but just yeah, something else that's just occurred to me is that it goes to it goes to Jenks' earlier praise of Varys, who's like his favorite character. Like as easily as we thought instantly, oh man, we might have Varys killed. Tyrion might kill Varys, or not kill him, know. but but T- Tyrion would tell Danny, "You have a threat from Varys." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Varys would know Tyrion would think that when he mm. says that's all we've said all we have to say. Like, so therefore that won't happen. Like Varys, right, does, right, not, right, but, Varys yeah. does not make that mistake. Varys knows what Tyrion ultimately knows how and Tyrion will react. Tyrion to that. is loyal to her, but like he's not. He wouldn't sell out Jaime for her. He wouldn't. I don't think he would sell out Varys. He already for her. did sell out Jaime, sort of. Sort Once. of. I think he would sell out Jaime if he had to. I don't know whether he'd sell out John. But that's, that's what the, I right. yeah. That's what I like about all of it is everyone has their limit. You're pretty sure you know it, but you're not certain. Mm. And at this point, there's so many balls in the air. There is there's so many possibilities of what could shake out. But we do know what those possibilities are. But he's never come off like hopelessly loyal to her. He's come out loyal to good mm-hmm. and what's good, and she just happened to Tyrion? be there. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's come off a little bit hopeless in this one, I guess. But uh, but I don't know if he came but off. I, agree I, I mean, yes, I don't know that he came off hopeless. I almost saw him as as that was him trying to convince himself, like yeah. he's that sort of sense. telling himself, like, no, come on, she's great. Remember when we thought she was great, like in Marine? Mm-hmm. I still want to think that again, even though he's getting signs yeah. that that she might not be right. But also, there's the sexist element, of, well, obviously. But they've the show has worked hard, I think, both. Narratively and uh, and to reverse that, and we had those moments like uh, from Tormund, who uh, who then undid it a little bit in this episode when he praised John, like what kind of a man jumps on a dragon, a crazy man, a king, or whatever mm-hmm. he said. And he was the one who two episodes ago was like, a woman can't be a knight, a lady can't be a knight, and he was like, says who, yeah. right? You know, uh, so. Which I liked. Um, I like this too because he he isn't always thinking about being super no, right, like true, yeah. super woke for no, la- the, no. for lack of literally any other no, word. Tried right. to think of rather than say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> but so when he when he's faced Whoa. with the problem of is there any reason right. why this woman should not be knight? He can't think of one. Yeah. But he also is like guys, let's hang out and drink beers. That's yeah. his default setting. And the thing about that is we did see that Tormund had that moment of epiphany and and in the utter simplicity of like, let's just make her a knight then. Mm. But even though he's that forward thinking or progressive or whatever, just knowing that she's never gonna be a dude. She's right, never yeah. gonna get that. Um yeah. but so he, he also that. had the uh um it was he had a nice way and he's like, I'm heartbroken, I'm telling you, he's talking to Clegane or whatever, my heart, my heart breaks, and then he's like all right, I'm fine now. Also, what's sad about? Right. Yeah, I'm over so it. Danny is. What are you like five eight? That's fine. Yeah. Dan- Danny and Sansa are the only authoritative females who cling to, who who fully embrace and embody f- female tropes, whereas Brienne and Cersei Aria. Oh, and yeah. Arya. Have all been unsexed. They have all become more masculine. Oh, even Cersei? with the Cersei as the short. I mean, she's going full Lady Macbeth. She's gone. Un, she's she's be, she said. I think like I'm going to be like a man at one point, and she looks like Lady Macbeth. Like that's all of that. And then Arya is like, I'm no lady. And then Brienne gets the acceptance of men, not by being a woman to the fullest extent, but being a man instead. Yeah, I think. Where does that leave Daenerys? Going, yeah. uh, yeah, I think that's a that, that's fair. That and they and sex to them is is was always like just a you know a, a means to an end or just an again an act. It's not mm. you know I mean like obviously here's who Cersei does not care about. You're on like the you know. Oh my god, she and, told him that baby was his. Yeah, she's not. I mean yeah. she I mean, she, she would. Yeah. I mean she'd kill him in a heartbeat yeah. if it, if yeah. for a moment 
that, that she thought it was to some advantage to her, or he just got super annoyed. <laughs> it's also you know? really gross. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, he, 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 he was so he, gross. If she she, she would be like, you know, <laughs> I've been staring at that lamb in your <laughs> beard, so and uh, and then she just turns to mountain and she'd be like. <laughs> yeah. She raises the hand, yeah, yeah. and then oh, everyone's like, so and the guy's gross. like, I'm not really clear what happens if it's a fist or a finger. I don't know. <laughs> um, so what, is, what, this, so this, what is This means go, and this means stop. Wait, no, no, no. I would this think this go. means fire. Yeah. That's what I like would that. thought. But no, this means stop, and to shoot, she goes. <laughs> in a very dramatic moment. But we yeah. in, all, in all the military movies, because I'm sure it's accurate, you know, when they're on a patrol, and the, whoever's leading the patrol, and they hear a noise, that means stop. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So, should probably learn from Better Brothers. <laughs> uh, one super small, yeah. uh, maybe it isn't even worth mentioning the scene, but I don't know if it's just a saying goodbye because we can't have all the characters go to the last episode, or if it's supposed to be somewhat symbolic. But there was a scene where he effectively cast off like all of the remnants of his time at the Wall and north of the Wall. Torment said goodbye and left. Uh, he had his last probably goodbye in the whole series with Sam, Honestly, one of the most important characters. Goodness. Well, I love hmm. Sam. I don't know why. I don't know why you, you're you don't like Sam because he just gets people killed. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's mad he because what happened to Dollar his place, Okay, and he needed <laughs> to be in the crypt. Okay, I am. I'll dead. tell you what he's slaying. <laughs> That's true. I but think, also, that was a nice I think John <laughs> knows Instagram. How yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Ghost as me? well. Yeah, Ghost Which is gone. I felt like he could have hugged Ghost or something. Maybe the <laughs> CGI budget. He was like, "Yeah, you're over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you." But like, that's your dog. What are you talking about? But Ghost right away was like. Walked up to the door. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Okay. I, mean, I only have yeah, one year. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Ghost though, is like, yeah. I need like six weeks of basically just lying around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's all gone. And that's now he's is. all in with a few northerners, I guess, in the army, but the rest of it's all these people that he doesn't really know. Um, Do the wildlings go back to living how they used to live? Because they were awful. Well, they probably, were, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they like it. Were they awful? Yeah. Well, well yeah. Well, the, they were the guys who ate. People. The Thens were awful. Thank you. Some of them. We were haven't awful. seen one of them in a while. But Tormund didn't eat people. They yeah. He was their leader. He drank their milk, I guess. But I were... drink your milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I drink it up. I can't. I mean, it bothers me how much wine he wastes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and how much he still <laughs> had, given that he spilled all of it all so over. Much. <laughs> he probably smells so bad. Like. Oh my god! Everybody there just that's needs true. bath. Every bath time I see bath. John's big like cloak thing with the fur, I just think that's gotta reek. That's, <laughs> there's no way that smells good. Mad is. So, but um, they bought those at I. Those are IKEA yeah. rugs. Oh, yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah. 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 Isn't that crazy. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, I, I think we're good. Do we want to switch over to predictions? I think I think so. We want to uh, uh, thank everybody for uh, uh, for joining us. Are you bringing me something here? Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, we have some. Oh, iPad. Uh, uh, while he's loading this and looking at it, tyt.com slash John to become a member for the predictions in a little bit. Um, That's cute. Uh, so we do look out, we have some member shout outs, work. right? <laughs> yeah. huh? oh, comments. comments. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, Benj, first of all, I like the tweets. Benjam says, John Idarola is putting on a gun show. Um, <laughs> he is. Uh, so it wasn't just this. <laughs> earlier so today, <laughs> earlier we were having dinner. Out in the other room, and there was one light here. And John, you, I told you, you were lit so dramatically. It was like it was a random place. Cagoosh, bow, bow. You were just like, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, thank you. You were Terry Crews and the pet. <laughs> yeah. I uh, no, I think I thank tweeted you. it this week. Like, just the love got stopped. <laughs> well, yeah. okay. I mean, now there's been two compliments, so I have to say something uh, insulting to myself. Not only did it not work out today, but I baked. An entire tray in Santa's honor oh my God. of lemon cakes, and I ate right. the whole thing. What did you uh, tell me? Every bit. That's great. And I, I honestly, I feel like a Stark kind of. Yeah, John <laughs> Cena doesn't uh, lift every day either. All right, but okay. like enough. Uh, has he, uh, <laughs> I'd like to see John Cena these <laughs> lemon cakes. Um, I would anyway. too. I would watch that. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, uh, I bathe in Devin Nunez's tears. Says, "Okay, here's a question: Who on today's panel would be most likely to survive in the Game of Thrones world?" Uh, Brooke. No, I already told you the weather. I'm out. No, she said. Well, she's here, Brooke's too nice. She'd be a goner. Uh, John. <laughs> nice of you John. Would, uh, John would would soon follow after. Brett would last a while, I think. Ben would last the longest. I agree because I would just sort of. I would stay again. I would do nothing for so long. <laughs> yeah, John for anyone else. Right, right, exactly. Right, that's right. Why? Because you would be so dedicated to this world. I think <laughs> Brett would be like, nah. <laughs> like, is there? 
Is no. that a TV somewhere? <laughs> Brett would be one of those wandering minstrels or something like that. He'd do quite well. Yeah, yeah, I'll and be then all his right. Because those guys did so well. <laughs> You would do some sort of deprecating song, and your tongue would be ripped out. Uh, so, so then, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna get this wrong, uh, Biasisima. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Perfect. Bitasima, yeah. mm -hmm. one of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Am I the only one who thinks there's a 10% chance that Jamie is Danny's real father? Yes. Yeah, now why, why yes, would you're that- you're the only one. <laughs> So that would mean that no, that's not no. no. You're the only. Can we just go? That you're the, you're only, the only one. You're the only yeah. one. Yeah. You're the, and what would be the that reason? Though. That would be that who's Jay, who's who's Danny's mom? Uh, Mrs. Uh, is, um, Storm Betsy Targaryen. Storm yeah. It's uh, the Dornish woman who married uh, the Dornish gal. It, wait, is that the? They don't all have the same mom, right? Like her. Huh. Blonde brother that they melted, or that's, no? I'm thinking that's, of the wrong person. One of the greatest deaths in still in the history of television, melting that guy. He and has the same bronzes. mother, sorry. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not actually yeah. sure. Um, well, yeah, if I'm you are sure. if you are a member, you will see the answer to that question because we'll have time to Google it as we switch yes. over to the members only section. Yeah. Uh, so I have, uh, I have a question. Tyt.com/slash right. Ben. No. Dot no. Brooke. Nope, nope. Ampersand, Brett. I'm on team tyt.com slash John for right now. Thank you. tyt.com slash Brett takes you somewhere. Yeah, but that's, don't, it's for now, John. Tyt.com slash. Okay, the ones that actually work. The others don't work. All right, that does make sense to me. John's is now tyt.com slash pump. tyt.com slash protein. Okay. All right. So, Thank time you, for predictions. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, for everybody, members uh, uh, will be back in uh, uh, instantly uh, with that. So, thanks.